let's talk about how Satan controls Hollywood. Most of you have heard about this movie. I'm not sure you're aware, but this movie is actually the Book of Enoch, but told from the perspective of the fallen angels who went against God. It starts out with Satan's own warped version of the creation story, and then drops us right into our opening scene, where God sent the Eternals, these people, or the Watchers, to protect humans from the Deviants, who supposedly go against God. Deviance in Strong's Concordance is this word, and it means a departure from what God says is true, an error or deception which results in wandering or roaming into sin. But luckily, God sends us these Eternals. The problem is, they all end up getting worshipped like God. So it's fitting that all the Eternals were named after mythological gods. Mythological gods who were actually worshipped by humans instead of worshipping God. This guy's name is Icarus. This is Athena. This is Druid, and his power is that he can possess people. This is Gilgamesh. All these names should be sounding familiar to you. Do you guys remember when that Hillary Clinton email was leaked? How they were talking about finding the tomb of Gilgamesh? Interesting. Why would Hillary Clinton care about that, one might ask? Moving on, we have this chick who's called Sprite. She can make the world see illusions. <laughs> Moon landing. <coughs> This guy's name is Fastos, and he brought technology to the humans. Ironically, again, all of this is recorded in the book of Enoch, where it says that the fallen angels, or the Watchers, brought technology to the humans. It also records how these fallen angels wanted to be worshipped like gods and go against our Father in Heaven. Which should help you make sense as to why there were so many mythological gods worshipped by people. It's because they were real. They were fallen angels. And they had powers. People would fall down and worship them. This is all recorded in the books of the Bible that they took out and don't want you to read. In the movie, they even talk about what happened at Babylon. But in their version, Babylon wasn't a city of sin that went against God. Babylon was an oasis. And this represents God, our Father in Heaven. He looks real inviting, doesn't he? You see, the Eternals get mad at God because they realize that their time is limited. They only get 7,000 years to live how they want, and then God's going to destroy their way of life. So they decide to band together and go against God. Because at the end of 7,000 years, God's Son, a Celestial, is going to rise from the crust of the earth and destroy everything. This is a foreshadow of Christ destroying the fallen angel's way of life. But in Satan's warped version of this, they defeat God and his son Christ.